Uh, I noticed uh, my mouse is a little too small next time, so I'm ready. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. That's like, uh, do you know when, you, when your mom says, oh, can you show me after this on your phone, and you look at a text, and it's like, <laughs> Oh, dude, she gets like half a word per line. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like, fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> like this maxed out. You think, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> next time, can you make it flash? Like, multiple, um, multiple colors. Well, let me... Because that won't be okay. What the, <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of what I wanted. But cheers. So this is uh, the second lesson. Um, so someone had brought up before they like, went not go over itemization. Or, like you guys know a lot of that stuff from League, and also um, like stuff like itemization you're just gonna learn from playing the game. Yeah. So this is this is more about going over like game knowledge stuff. Stuff you're like not gonna be able to figure out on your own, right? <laughs> That's why I went over. Too stupid. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's, there's this stuff that, like, you're not going to accidentally do, you know? <laughs> like, you have to know it's an option. Yeah. So, okay. um, this one's, the last one's about, like, the lanes and objectives and stats. This one's about uh, the jungle and stuff like that, so. Ooh, James. You well, live this. and breathe. <laughs> yeah. So, first we're going to go over what's in the jungle. This is what you see on your mini-map, minus all the boxes. Um, there's four different types of camps. Small, medium, large, and ancient. So you can see this one with just the triangle, those are small camps, that's a small camp, you know, this is a small camp, that's a small camp, mm -hmm. whatever. The ones with one line under them are the medium camps, here, 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 whatever. Uh, and then the ones with the, the bigger symbol, they're large camps. Yeah. And then the triangle ones, the double triangles, here, 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 and here, they're the ancient camps. So, so they wait, all... So there's only that yeah. many of them, but every time I walk by one to do my gauntlet thing... The amount of time it said can't do that ancient camp, but there's only that many of them. Um, so I think that's because you've been playing in the off lane a lot, and uh, both the ancient camps are right next to the off lane. And it's just like every time I go into the jungle, even when I'm in the the fucking air jungle and shit, I'm like, oh, like, I'll, like I know it's not smite, but I like smite this camp and get some more gold. Can't do that the ancient. I was like, all right then, I'll kill them normally. Well, yeah, them now you know the ancient camps. They're next to the off lane. Fair. I have a yeah, question. So Ooh. yes. Does the like bigger the camp they are? Does it, does it just give you more money? Like what's what's um, the deal? With so it? they spawn different types of creeps, and yeah, the bigger ones give you more money. Um, but the, right, exactly. creeps, the creeps also level up a bit over the game. Not like a crazy amount, but a little. Some of their abilities get stronger, their stats get better. Oh yeah, one was um, stunning me, the bastard. When I was yeah. trying to fight it. Yeah, yeah, we're going over. It. We're going over some of that. There's no dedicated <laughs> jungler in Dota. Um, it's more like everyone's oh, yeah. property. It tends to be that the like carry they'll get what they can in lane. Then once people start roaming, they go into the jungle more. Or once they can farm faster, they start like taking a jungle camp, going to the lane, doing a jungle camp, going to the lane, like bouncing around a little. Uh, so they spend less time on the map. Like they they just killing the wave does, doesn't take all their time, so they have some free time to go kill camps. I have a I question. question. I have a question, yes. sir. Sir, I have a question. What is a good level to start going into the jungle? Uh, it's game sense. A lot of pros, if their lane goes real bad, they're going there like level three. You know, um, it, yeah. it depends on the hero too. Uh, it's it's like having a sense for your hero. Do I need level six before I jungle? Do I need this item before I jungle? Um, doing some of the tactics that I'm going to show you here, you can jungle a little earlier. Um, but by doing some pulling, which we're going to get go over okay. in a little. So my question now. Yep. Did you go into a practice game, screenshot that, and then put those boxes around everything yourself? No, I googled uh, Dota minimap and I, I, I or Dota jungle camps or something, and I found an image on Google Images. Okay, so that's why this I see how red. much time you put I... into this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that's why this one's red. That that wasn't me. That was whoever did this. Because I feel like one of those bounty runes, the bounty rune at the bottom lane. I think that's supposed to be on that white dot in it. Uh, what do you mean? That, that, this? that. Yeah, is that there's supposed to be There's one here, one here at the very start, but then the whole game, there's one here. Oh, this right. one's only about that zero minutes. Oh, Same because, yeah, because there's one at the top, isn't they? And I thought... Yeah. Oh, well, I thought... Well, I don't know. About. Maybe I'm crazy. Okay. Um, about. so the Mighty Mines and Triangle, they're just different areas of the jungle. You might hear reference. Mighty Mines is actually, like, mechanically different. So the Mighty Mines is these three camps here for Dire and these three here for Radiant. Yeah. Um, you get a buff when you're there. If you're on the Dire side, you get a health regen buff. So like if oh. you're a carry and you're having a real bad game, sometimes you can make it work down here, jungling a little earlier because you're getting an extra like 6 HP regen per second or whatever. 
Um, and on the radiant side, you get extra mana. So if you're farming down there, maybe you can spam your spells a little more. So the triangle, it's an old term. It used to refer to three camps here, but it refers to, like this island here of high ground, this one here of high ground next to the secret shop, kind of this new ancient camp over here. Uh, okay. These three camps, and it's two ancient camps and a big camp. So okay. a lot of the time, that's where like the highest value farm is. Uh, people will stack these camps up for their carry. You'll fight over here. It's very defendable. Um, so you, you might just hear you might hear calls like they're in our triangle or let's go to their triangle, whatever. That means this area here by the off lane near the secret shop. Okay. I'm gonna start shouting at James now. Yeah. <laughs> triangle. Um, and yeah, the creeps have abilities. That's a thing in League Two. Um, and eventually you're gonna have to learn some, and it's gonna change how you farm the camps. So we're gonna go over just a few of them to give you an idea. So these guys here, they spawn in the small camp. The one with the spear, he'll disarm you. So you got to kill him first, because obviously uh -huh. and I, very few people can farm a camp while they can't attack, right? Um, these wolves here, uh, the big one gives all of them like crits, and the little ones, when you kill them, they reduce your attack damage. So you want to kill uh -huh. the big one first, stop them getting crits, and spend as long with your full attack damage, right? Yeah. Um, so these guys in the middle, they both have stuns. Um, this guy here, he's in medium and large camps. <laughs> Um, if more than three units are around him, he'll stun. So if you're farming with multiple units, um, if there's a fight going on, you can actually, like, micromanage a unit to get them to stun an enemy or whatever, or kill you with a stun. <laughs> uh, these guys here, the big orange ones, they do, like, a big overhead slam, they turn red, and they stun in front of them. So when you see them charging that up, you just gotta go behind them. Uh, yeah, that, you can't do that to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, whenever you're doing this camp, watch out. One of them is going to stun, and you just got to go behind them once he starts stunning, and you're good. Okay. Um, these guys here are ancients, uh, some of the ancients. There's also smaller versions of them. They have magic resist, all of them, the big and the small ones. And the big ones, they um, increase the damage you take, and they give all the other uh, creeps in their camp extra health. Which you're get A lot of them have these auras, like these guys give crits, these guys give extra health. Um, and when you stack, it kind of makes the camps like exponentially harder. Like a double stack, which we're getting to stacking like next slide, is more than twice as hard, right? It's like four times as hard. A uh, triple stack's like nine times as hard. So um, eventually, you need to bring like teammates if you don't have someone who specializes for it. Uh, these guys here, they do like splash damage. So if you're relying on summons to kill them, uh, they make it a lot harder because they're going to wipe all your summons out pretty quick. Um, there's obviously more. Those are just some examples. Some of them are pretty important, like the disarm guy, the guy who stuns, right? Those are important every time you farm those camps. But just some examples you'll learn through game experience. Stacking and blocking. This is one of those things in Dota that was almost definitely a bug that they turned into a feature. So in Dota, you'll see when you're holding alt, there's these boxes around the camps, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and also, if you have Dota Plus, there's these timers saying when to stack and pull. Very helpful. But um, so the way the camp, so in League, I think when you kill a camp, it starts a timer, it, like it starts yeah. a three minute timer, and then the camp respawns, right? Yeah, Something like that. Jim, Jim, yeah, Jim, in Jim, Dota, Jim. yeah, in <laughs> Dota, at the uh, start of every minute, if there's nothing in this box, it spawns a new camp. So if you can say kill them right before the minute, walk out, they'll spawn right in front of your face again, and you can kill them twice. Um, if you can attack them and then let them chase you outside the box, another one will spawn. So you can see here, this is an ancient camp that's been stacked like four times. That's what stacking is. You attack them at like 53 to 56 seconds, somewhere in there, lead them away from the camp, and then a new one spawns, and there's two standing there, right? And you can build up a lot of farm. Like this ancient stack here is worth like 1,000 gold, right? Uh -huh. And then you can give your carry a, like a full item for spending 30 seconds farming this. Obviously, people have to prep it up. Um, so when you're jungling, you can start using this if you're paying attention to the time. I'm hoping you can maybe find like an opportunity to do these things once or twice a game right now. Eventually you get better, but they come up in every single game. Is this our right. challenge? Um, yeah, if you, can, if you guys can pull off one stack or pull in, in each of the games today, th that's good enough. Ah, oh, shit, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, you can also, if you're farming and you're like, oh, I'm about to get to this camp and it's 53 seconds, you can be like, oh, I'll attack them, I'll pull them back, stack, and then I get to kill two camps instead. Right? So will we only have the time at if we have Dota Plus? Um, this, alt, this thing here, where it says the stack and pull timings, that's only if you have Dota Plus. You can just use the clock up here, though. Right? 50, if it's 53 to 56, you're probably pretty safe to do it with any camp. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, like 54 to 50, somewhere in that range, 53 to 57. I added the lesson on it, and they said to do about 54 for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, somewhere in that. So there's a pretty big window, but once you get like a camp like this, it's a very tight window because there's more that need to get out. Um, They get in each other's way. So then, like, getting it the exact right half second, bringing them the exact correct direction, maybe cutting down trees to make their, uh, give them more room so they can all get out of the box in time. Like, then you start needing skill. If you want to stack this again, that takes skill. But to do a single stack, it's usually pretty easy. Um, so also blocking. Blocking is putting something in this box so the camp doesn't spawn. You can put wards there. You can send a unit there. Um, you used to be able to send your courier there. I'm not sure if you can do that anymore. You can go stand there yourself. Um, so a lot of times when we get to the pulling, people will block each other's pull camps. They'll put an invisible sentry ward there that stops the camp from spawning. Um, if you don't enemy carries farming an area of the map, you can block all the camps to be a pain in the ass or make them farm somewhere else. So that's the general idea. You can put something here too, and it makes it impossible for camps to spawn. Okay. Next. Pulling. Okay. I, are these videos made of myself. Okay. Very. <laughs> okay. So you might have seen a couple pulls already. The idea of a pull is you attack a creep, bring it to the, or you attack a jungle camp, bring it to the lane. Then the lane creeps attack the jungle camp. Sorry, I was just drinking. Oh. I looked at the fucking things you put. Hard pull, easy, simplest, <laughs> west. Hard yep, so, so pull, is simplest, west. Um, Hard pull, best. So it, if you know what you're doing and you know when's a good time to do a soft pull, they can be good. Even at my level, a lot of supports who are like, this is my autofill support game. I'm going to do pulls and I support it. Right, the, the, it's it, it's they like absolutely grief my lane with it, my so they don't know when to do it, and they just do the easiest ones, and my, they're bad. My day, man. Um, but yeah, generally, it, it's good for the support to do these because one helps control the lane. Um, it denies the golden XP from the enemy if a jungle camp kills it. They can get golden XP themselves by killing the jungle camps with the help of creeps. Um, if you're a carry, you can do them for yourself. You can do them, like I was saying earlier, if you're not high enough level to go to the jungle yet, you can do your own pulls, use your lane creeps to help you farm the jungle somewhere safe. Um, so a soft pull is... Wait, let me just go back here. We're going to be talking a lot about this small camp and this big camp, this small camp, this big camp, the ones next to the safe lane. Yeah. All right? Okay. So the soft pull is just using the small camp right next to the safe lane tower. The creeps meet right in front of the safe lane tower, I'm sure you've noticed, by default. Uh, and you bring them over, get the creeps to attack them. It will pull the lane, but it won't kill your whole wave. Their wave's going to go into your tower and die. And then you're going to get, like, a double wave. So it actually pulls it in for a second, and then it pushes it all the way out to the enemy. Um, it doesn't kill the whole wave, it kills, like, two creeps. So this is one here. I This is, just so you know, I did a pull right before this. That's why there's, like, six creeps and a catapult. Actually, seven creeps in the catapult, right? Because it pushes out after you do it. But this is just me showing off. It's pushing, so I'm going to do uh, a pull here. That camera works a little messy. So you just <laughs> attack the creeps, bring them to your lane creeps. They go in there. Now they're going to kill this. I can farm that golden XP. The lane's going to roughly reset. Mm. Because this lane's gonna, this wave's gonna all go die to the tower. James, James is oh. gonna love doing shit like that. He loves yeah. all the uh, <laughs> like like the wave management stuff. He like <laughs> I was top player in league because it's very wave management heavy, and he it's a, I guarantee James will be fucking. He'll say to me, oh, yeah. "Well, Sam, I'm, I'm gonna do a soft pull." I'm like, "Excuse me, we're streaming," and then I'm like, "Oh no, I'm doing this." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, okay." Oh no, I did that a few minutes ago. I don't that one. I'm doing a dirt one. <laughs> I was I was actually playing league earlier. And I was one and three, and still had a three hundred gold bounty. Like just fuck me, just, just fuck me, yeah. just fuck me. Okay, he <laughs> <laughs> did a hard There's... pull when you said that. I I could probably do a whole other PowerPoint on other ways to control the lane's position, but this is just ones using jungle camps. Right, James, yeah. James will uh, so... James will have a hard pull over that one. Yeah, the hard pull <laughs> is just using the big camp for it. So. It's a little more aggressive. It happens a little farther up. Um, it's going to be contested more likely, um, but it, it kills off the whole wave, and I mean, it, it's generally better. It like does a full reset of the wave, basically. Your whole wave dies here, their whole wave dies under your tower, and then the waves meet where they would normally have met. Um, so you can also, every other opportunity to do this, it'll actually stack the camp, too. Ooh. So right here, I'm going to show one that's at 4 minutes 54 seconds. So it's going to do a pull and stack the camp. You can just keep using that over and over again. 
you have to be kind of dumb. So both lanes can do this. The off lane can do this, and the safe lane can do this. As a safe lane, you can characters like Warlock, who you played, he'll push the wave out, and then you can use the pull to manage it. Right? You can't do this if it's where it naturally is. It has to be pushed out in the first place for you to do this. Okay. But let me let me show this. So here you pull, you bring it straight down here. If you're doing it on the other side, you bring it uh, up instead. You just bring them. Yeah, because we're, we're going to be in that lane a lot. Because, like I say, I'm going to yeah. be. He's going to be playing. Um, I mean, so you stacked it there, and then your wave went over to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, like I say, um, James is going to be playing that uh, warlord guy. Um, so I feel like th that's actually really helpful. You're showing us for this lane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it. it's very important on Warlock because Warlock, you cast your Q to share damage across the whole wave and the enemy heroes. That's naturally going to push it, but it's going to do harass the enemy heroes. You do this, and then if they try and contest this, that's why I have harder to contest. If they come over and try and take the farm and stuff, you cast a Q, and suddenly all the creeps, all the jungle creeps, they're all damaging the enemy heroes, right? It's sharing all the damage, yeah. and they're just taking a shit ton of damage to try and stop you. So uh, we're going to go to some advanced pulls. Um, these probably aren't super important right now, but I figured while we're going over them, might as well. Mm -hmm. Double pull is basically a soft pull where you stack the camp first. So you get a double uh, easy camp, and then you, mm -hmm. and then you do a pull. Uh, I don't think I have a video for that. But it actually kills the whole wave. It gets you extra farm. Um, it is telegraphed. You know, they'll see if they, you have to a minute in advance stack the camp. So if they see a stacked camp, they're going to know that you're doing stuff over there. So a half pull is when you just catch half the wave. So you're using the small camp here and you only, you will do it late or you do it early to just catch half of the wave. So let me show you this. Um, Another thing worth noting here, when they attack you, it'll draw aggro. So you can control it the same way when you attack an enemy hero, it draws aggro. The same for jungle camps. When they attack you, it draws aggro. So I'm okay. letting them attack me just when I want them to, to um, just get half the wave. So obviously the enemy is going to instantly know this happened because only two creeps show up. But it lets you always be killing half the wave off yeah. uh, pretty right, repeatedly. Yeah. Um, it's one skill that's higher skill. That one takes a little practice. Um, and the last one is a pull through. It's not in the meta right now. It's probably the hardest one, but it lets it. It's gonna bring you up to their hard camp. So the idea is you do a small pull, and then right when the camp's about to die, you do a hard pull over to the soft pull. Um, so I'll show you. Um, so that right right now, this once again, not really a thing people are doing because um, you're gonna have to fight over there. But so basically, you. Um, do it a little early, and then you nuke the camp down to finish it off. So when they attack the camp, you brought over. So you do this, and then I'm going to nuke this creep when I want it to die. So they go over to that one. And that lets you farm both camps, mm -hmm. uh, kills the whole wave. It takes no prep. Um, but once again, if, if then you might be alone over there while your carry is under tower. The opposite with soft pulls. Sometimes with soft pulls, if it's like under their tower, you do it here. You're over here. Their carries, Your carry is way over here. You can't really help each other out. Um, I have a question. Yeah. How would you counter that? Because if they come to attack you, everyone will just attack them. Um. Right, yeah, but uh, if it's like a support alone, you guys can kill them. You can counter it by if you have vision or you block the camps and you know it's happening. Uh, yeah. You, okay. you can get pick-offs and stuff. Uh, you can contest them, and then you're getting a, a full lane of XP and a creep camp yourself, right? So no, just knowing it's happening in the first place helps you contest it. Um, you can block the camps if you know they're doing it. You put a little sentry inside the box. Um, and I think that's our, that's our last slide. Some you can yeah. buy the walls. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I, say, I don't uh, think you're ever going to see this for like the next at m minimum 500 hours of gameplay. I don't think you will um, ever It like... was happening in their games yesterday. And it was, oh, was it? oh yeah. Lord, it, it, not yesterday. Oh, last Lord. Week. yeah, the yeah. bots are oh, doing Lord. it. It's funny. I remember when we yeah. played together, and you said, oh, "What the fuck? The bots are stacking camps." Wait, who are you being? I was gonna go Dawnbreaker. I was actually looking at Dawnbreaker. Yeah, she seems really cool. Be Dawnbreaker. Is she? What is she? Car? Should be. I could pause uh, three. Like, you know, the soft support up top. No, I'm guessing anyway. Off lane is off lane support. Yeah, yeah. Off lane's the okay. so off lane's like the tanky one. So I'll be. Yeah. Um, so you could be like a main, a more of a main guy if you want. 
Blood Seeker. Um, it does seem quite cool, Blood Seeker. Especially if like running from those. Like, do I demo her or do I just fucking go balls deep in her? Um, I never go balls deep straight away. Okay, I'll that's my know. golden rule. Here we are, guys, in a game practicing. What we've just learned literally five seconds ago, of course. <laughs> Um, who do we want to ban? Um, I, just, I, I always, I never know who to fuck. Oh wait, where's Roranger? I want to ban Roranger. Hate Roranger. So where off lane? Where top lane? Sweet, let's go, baby. Oh, there's three people here. Yeah, he's fucked off. Also, I thought you looked pussy. 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 <laughs> you gotta get your lips on it. Um, I'm not gonna buy the. The axe. I always buy an axe, but I never fucking use it, so I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> Wait, like the Quillin Blade? Yeah. I always buy that shit as well. She just get rid of it. I've got rid of it. It does. It does more damage against. Um. It does. Oh, I'll take more it. Damage against the minions. So oh. If you're like, well, yeah, I'll take it. Not, I'm not gonna do it because I'm not gonna be attacking the fucking minions. You can also chop trees down with it. Yeah, but who wants to do that? I know it does. I mean, I'm sure. Does that look like a lumberjack. I'm gonna no. say if you if, if you're timber saw, you okay. You want to use those trees? Haha! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> no more trees. I won't even on you. There's a Rubik up top. Oh no! So I was thinking there's a Rubik up top. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> the three of us mid. So this is the first time I'm playing Dawnbreaker. First time James is Bloodseeker. Oh my god! Why is that skin? Okay. We haven't seen him. It's just on his crotch. He is trained. <laughs> 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 oh no, they've got a Necrophos. We can do that too. Yeah, those two left me fucking hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him up. Go, Sam. Sam would have. He does. Oh, fucking tits. Yeah, I can't really put pressure until level 2. Yeah, I just kind of let him push in, just get XP, and we'll just let him do us. So I'm healing, so they're gonna hit me all the one. Okay, I've got my uh, silence now. So if, if you if you stun him, when I put my I, I do have my stun. Tell me when you want me to use it. Uh, I guess go for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he stunned me. Oh, he stunned me. Fuck, I got stunned again. Uh, back up, back up. He fucking he stunned me as I was swinging my thing. <laughs> I go, well, well, then <coughs> starts to fucking slam me, fucking. Me. Oh shit, yeah, I'm in buying you know. out. Four, five, six. Yeah. One, two. Fuck. You can sack too early, he's counting it. Fuck! Yeah, you would have had it if you waited for that one last shot. Fuck you. I'm just. <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Ready, 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 ready. Yeah. He's doing it No, Sam, Sam, get him, get him. Trying to get him. Get him, 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 Oh, he's dead now. He's dead. Boom! How about that? How about you suck on that, Zeus? Go on, chase his bitch ass down. <laughs> Look at him fucking run like a bitch. <laughs> can I kind of zoom in about here? No. You ready? I, I see you, I see you, I see you. Yeah, yeah. I didn't go through the fucking bushes. <laughs> it, was, it was a little bit out of my fucking range. Oh, oh, oh what the fuck? Ow. What the fuck? What happened? I threw it up. I fucking threw it at him, but my mouse, I think it let go. She takes a second to throw the fucking thing. Okay. Nice. I'm stuck. 
I'm stuck on the minions! Oh. I'm stuck on the minions! You I was stuck on the fucking minions! <laughs> you were sprinting for your life like <laughs> Fuck's uh, sake. Yeah, yeah, run it. I have to be careful, we don't want Zeus to get thingy. He's already fed, it's over. You can like zoom it in. Like you can just sprint it in, I think. I think you can just sprint it in and win, to be fair. Okay. That didn't work. Yeah, he ran away because he knows you'll win. <laughs> like, if you if you catch can, him... Can you, can you stun him so I can get to him at least? I can't, oh, what up with Sam? He keeps doing it. I'm fucking behind me. I'm literally throwing it at him. Actually, it threw it the right fucking way that time. Fucking miracle. If you... If you, like, kind of go for him... I can just ult, yeah. Do you like go on top of him? Um, I may have died. Um, Alright, so what do we do here? Um, I feel like we're shafted. We, yeah, because we don't have any stuns around. Oh my god, there's four of them, but. There's four of us, but as well. You ready for this? It's set. I got him! I'm running away. I'm not wearing them. Yeah, we got one. And we Holy came out of that. Holy shit. I mean, we lost our tower, but we actually got the Zeus. <laughs> we uh, killed one of them. Well, yeah, but I mean, none of us died. We've got our fucking Medusa here. Oh! Shit. Okay, brilliant. Oh my oh, god! Oh what? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's his ult. It's like a, it's just an execute. I forgot I, had, I forgot I had that. I kind of went in. Oops, myself. They're like miles more coordinated than we are. Yeah. It's a little bit suspicious. Oh yeah, he's gonna. Oh, he's gonna. I think when you ult them, um, they have to stop, stop and fight. Yeah, or the way. Hey! God damn it! Where was everyone? I was dead. Shit! I'm coming in. Oh, I'm gonna. Who's fucking shoved himself out? Ah. No, he's ulted me. That's it. Holy shit, we're doing it. Okay, that was not bad. We have minions? No, quick, do stuff. We need to do stuff. Probably. God damn it. I'm in the air, look at me. Look at me, I'm in the air. On the last game of the last stream, I was for a while and I was zooming. Oh shit, really? Did you yeah. like it? I fucking know, and I got MVP. It's, it's, it's so easy, isn't it? I know, it's fucking just half the time, you just press R. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Alright, I'll do that. Oh, I knew what you were doing, you little bastard. I just, just push it in if you can, because we're all, we're all here. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, did you kill it? Nice. Yeah. Best thing, you're literally an assassin. Try and thingy. So if you keep pushing top now, I'll try and push mid. I can't push top. There's like there's loads of dudes on me. They're not in a good way. Is there a good way? <laughs> ah, I got his ass. Hey, let's go. Came in and we fucking got the cunts. That was good, wasn't it? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What? <laughs> what happened? What the fuck was happening? I don't even know. I think it glitched because I was using a few things at once and it said it, it broke. 
is tell me people are doing stuff while I died. I got, uh, I got not some. really. Oh, no. Yeah, be careful. Don't, don't look. No way. Oh, no. I got a vault. Oh, James. They're just healing way too much. Yeah, we can't do fuck all. Now it seems just like Medusa's just stood in the turret. Uh, Vengeful Spirit's just farming. Are we missing a dude? Oh, he's dead. Oh my god! He ulted me! Nice! Nice! Get the punch! Nice. Nice. Now we'll go for Zeus down mid. Just run after him. Zoom in. Oh, you've got the cunt. You've got him. You've got him. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> I just stood there and looked at him. <laughs> and now we push mid. Honestly, the fusel blade are probably good. Really for fuck's good sake. Mid. Uh, at least, I mean, at least I fucking got that top to it. I mean, you could go up top now and finish off that barracks. I was rinsing it. We've got mega creeps now, so we should hopefully push it in a lot more. Come on. Yes. No. Fuck off, Rubik. No. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. What about that barracks? <laughs> God's sake. I was so close to getting it. I was doing so much damage to it, and then fucking three of them came off. What happened mid? They were, they were, you were all distracting the mid, and then fucking... Fucking... <laughs> fucking what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Rubik. 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 what did you do with the wards I give you? Tell him you shoved it off his mum's fanny. Okay. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, I hurt. Ow. Oh, James, come. Come on. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, I'm invisible. Nice. I, 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 I like that. I need to see more of that. Right, now we kill the fucking barracks. Well, fucking done. Okay, I'm like, I like really what I'm seeing here. Get rid of this, this shit. Is it. Done. Fucking, oh, get rid of this shit so they're not distracted. Oh, fuck this shit. Stop them. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, we're not fucking about with that. I'm going in. Get the turret. Get the turret. Come on. Get the turrets. I'm taking, I'm fucking tanking it. Get the goddamn turrets. Oh yeah, get them in. Yeah, just get everything. Just destroy everything. Just rinse everything. Fucking. Okay. Yeah! Fucking rinse them all now, aren't we? Fuck you, we rinsed them then, didn't we? Fucking cunts. Holy shit, this is unbelievable. Like, we just fucking turned on. <laughs> I am turned on. Fucking okay, hell, that would that came out of nowhere. Come on, then, you fucking cunt. Yeah, you're gonna stun me this time, eh, you fucking cunt? No, you're not, are you? Boom! Oh, bitch. Oh my god. Thinking you think you're going to use all the fucking game. Oh, oh. what, you're gonna fortify it? Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. Oh, yeah. this is too easy. Fucking. Great game. Great game. Fucking. All the way right at the end, it was like, oh, fuck it, we've got, we both got the pick on that fucking rubric, and that was it. It's like, oh, yes, go for it. it like, <laughs> go for it. Fucking, that's all we had to do, literally. I had the damage to demolish. Oh! 
Oh, would you look at that? It's your boy with the MVP.